Good evening, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. It's been going on three or four days. <clears throat> and we're going into a new week. It is November the 7th, 2021. It is 531 in the evening here in West Michigan. It's been really nice weather lately. Late fall weather, warm. Uh, I took a long hike yesterday uh, in a local park. And yeah, and tomorrow it's supposed to be partly sunny. And But we're in November and usually it snows towards the end of November. It gets cold, but we'll see. Sometimes we might have this year a light winter. But anyway, I thought I'd make a video. It's a Sunday night. And I, uh, my last video was what I have been reading in the mornings on Sunday. And uh, I mentioned I was getting this in the mail. This is the Matthew commentary in the Reformation commentary series. And I told you I was getting this this month. And I showed you the other ones in Matthew. I showed you these. The Ancient Christian Commentary, the two volumes on Matthew. Uh, volume A is chapters 1 through 13 of Matthew. And then volume 1 B, Matthew 14 to 28. And then I showed you that I bought the Ancient Christian Text. This is an ancient commentary on uh, the Gospel of Matthew. It's called Incomplete Commentary on Matthew, the Opus Imperfectum, two volumes. And then I said that I was going to get the Reformation Commentary on Matthew. So I also have a, a more modern commentary on Matthew in my study. I have this one. This is a modern commentary. It came out and this came out. This is by R.T. France. This came out in 2007. The Gospel of Matthew, the New International Commentary in the New Testament by R.T. France. So I got all those commentaries on the Gospel of Matthew because I'm reading this in the mornings, I've shown you this many times. This is the third volume. The fourth volume comes out in December. The Life of Jesus Christ. This is part two, volume one, chapters one through 57 by Rudolf of Saxony. So that's why I've been reading in the mornings and what I'll be reading in the mornings in December and going into 2022. But what have I been reading the last couple weeks or last week. As you all know, I'm a mood reader. I read. I don't necessarily feel, comp feel, feel compelled to read a book from cover to cover, but I did finish something. I showed you this in one of my uh, recent videos. This is Second Writer by Alex Beer. This is a German crime fiction novel. This was the first translated from German by Tim Mower, and I finished this. <laughs> uh, and I was going to do a, a book review about it, and then I went into my documents to find the form that I use to do book reviews, and I've done maybe one book review, but I can't find the form, and so I can't give a review of it. But I, uh, this is in the Europa International Mysteries and Crime series, and this is her first uh, one's been translated out of German. And there are four or five other ones that have not been translated. And this came out. This is copyrighted in 2017, and uh, this first publication in 2018. I don't know. I would give it a. a I would read the second in the series, but I was it was okay. The reason why I told you I wanted to read this because it takes place in Vienna after the First World War, and uh, and that's always intrigued me that 
the Vienna in that time period. That's why I want I wanted to read it basically for the historical setting of this novel. But it was okay. I wasn't really blown away by it, but uh, I did finish it. And then I decided that I would read another crime novel because I collect this series and I haven't read any in it. And this is the uh, in the uh, the Bernie. Gundry series that takes place in Berlin, Germany in the 1930s. I've had this, this is three of that series, March Violets, The Pale Carnival, and The German Requiem. And I've had this for years and then I start collecting the, the ones after these three. I don't know how many are in the series. I have them downstairs. So I've been reading the March Violets. I'm almost done. I got maybe 20 pages left in this. The March Violets, and it's a it's a series on this. Uh, he's kind of like a private investigator, uh, ex police detective. He he's German. He fought on the German side in the First World War. It takes place in Berlin right after the First World War, about four years after, and it's a I mean it's a lot better than this. This is not really as written as well or translated. This is really good. I, I like it. Uh, I don't, I'm kind of curious about reading another one, but I'm not sure if I will right away, but I am reading March Violets by uh, Philip Carr is his name. He, and I have, he wrote other novels outside of the Bernie, ex-policeman Bernie Country, Gundry series. Uh, says here, ex-policeman Bernie Guntry thought he'd seen everything on the streets of 1930s Berlin, but then he went freelance and each case he tackled sucked him further into the grisly excesses of Nazi subculture. And even after the war, amidst the decay, imperial splendor of Vienna, Bernie uncovered a legacy that made the world-time world atrocities look lily-white by comparison. So I've been reading that. And, uh, so I've been reading that in the morning, mo mostly in the, I kind of read that in the afternoons, late afternoons. I also been reading, I showed you this, The Last Words on Earth by Javier Serena. Sor Serena, I can't pronounce it. Uh, this is translated from the Spanish by Katie Whitmore. I, I've got maybe... 30 pages left in this. I've been reading this at night. And then I I showed you, I got this from the book nook, The Conversations with Susan Suntang. So I've been reading the interviews in this and in, in Conversations. And then that got me back into reading her biography that I have been reading oh, maybe last year. And I got back into it. This is Suntang. Her Life and Work by Benjamin Mosier. So I've been reading this. I'm halfway through it. I've read 435 pages. At first, when I first read it, I wasn't too crazy about it. But then somebody commented in my video when I mentioned this book about this biography and I got it back out and I started reading it. And, I really liked it. I mean, it was more, I found it interesting and I've always been uh, fascinated with Susan Sentang since I was in high school in 1970. Uh, I, w I was covered, her, I was interested in her in the late 60s and she's always been to me. A, I have all her writings, her novels and interviews and essays and things. And then I also picked up this book I bought the other day, it came in the mail, Susan Sentang. I, I know that I know how to spell that, pronounce that word. Is that elegant? Elegant, agelic. I can't modernist by Sorena Suris. So I've been reading this, and then I've been reading one also, The Hour of Fate, Theodore Roosevelt, J.P. Morgan, The Battle to Transform American Capitalism, by Susan Perfude. Bearfield or Burfield. So I've been reading this. So I've been reading this. 
reading this Susan Sontang, The Elegant Modernist by Sor Sornana Series. Probably butchering all these names. Reading Conversations with Susan Sontang, edited by Leah Lilam Pogug. And reading the biography by Benjamin Mosher Suntang, her life and work. Suntang, or so I've been reading that. And reading The Last Words on Earth by Javier Sorina. Sir, and reading March Violets of Berlin Noir by Philip Kerr. He's a British writer. He passed away a couple years ago. I finished reading The Second Rider by Alex Beer, uh, translate out of the German by Tim Moore. And then I start reading, I got this in the mail. Somebody recommended this in a comment oh, a while back, maybe two or three videos. This is a res, res, no, Respero. A novel by Francisco Ram, Rambalio, Randalio, I can't pronounce the name. But I've been starting reading this last night and today while I was watching professional football. So this is translated out of Spanish by Helen R. Lane. So I start reading this. I've read maybe 45 pages. Also, at the Book Nook, I didn't show you this, but I got a bunch of CDs at the Book Nook last week. And I got uh, a Nirvana, uh, an Iru, and I picked up The Doors, The Very Best of The Doors. And then I picked up this flashback with The Grateful Dead. And then I got all these Led Zeppelins. <laughs> all the Led Zeppelins came into the Book Nook. Led Zeppelin presents. Led Zeppelin, I think this is number two or three. Led Zeppelin BBC sessions. Led Zeppelin three. Led Zeppelin two. This is Led Zeppelin, How the West Was Won. This is the live concert. Led Zeppelin. In through the and out the door. Coda by Led Zeppelin. House Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin. This is the first CD I bought when I was 16 years old. Led Zeppelin. This is one of my first CDs I bought when I was really a young teenager. And then you have Led Zeppelin. Physical Graffiti, which is one of my favorite Led Zeppelins. So I got all those Led Zeppelins came into the book nook and I bought them all. A couple of years ago, I bought all the Doors CDs came in. So I got music, I got books, as far as my diary, my November 2021 diary. I ended today on page 1138 for the year 2021. Tomorrow is a Monday. I go back to the book nook. I volunteer from 10 to 1. I got a I got another book nook haul. <laughs> a bunch of books came into the book nook last week, Friday. I bought a big stack of books and cr things I really collect. And I'll show those in a future video. I just want to show you what I've been reading in the afternoon and evenings. Show you my Led Zeppelin collection. I remember I listened to The Doors. Remember that song? Uh, what is that song? Uh, Break On Through, Strange Days, Love Me Two Times, Light My Fire. That was the song when I was in high school. Like 10th grade, Light My Fire. That was it. 10th grade, Light My Fire by The Doors. You can hear it everywhere. Nirvana is one of my favorite bands. As I mentioned to you, the 30th anniversary edition of Nevermind is coming out. And also, I didn't show, I got the new Macedon CD, uh, Hush and Grim by Mas Macedon. 
hard rock metal. So that's it. And I got my new commentary on the Gospel of Matthew. Came in the mail. So I was reading that today in the morning for devotions on Matthew 18. So I hope you had a good reading weekend. I hope you have a good new week. Thank you for the comments. Forgive me for, for my mispronunciation of names and titles. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I have a hard time making videos because I, it comes off sloppy and imperfect and and I am a perfectionist in a certain sense. But then I think, well, you got to be real. you got to be who you are. And I make no... Uh, I'm not being pretentious or being presenting myself in a false way. This is who I am. I can't pronunciate. I love books. I love literature. I love just reading and the activity of reading and I just want to share my love for books and my share my love for Christian books like Reformation Commentary series. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong reading the ancient Christian text series. You can't go wrong reading the ancient Christian commentary and scripture series. And above all, you can't go wrong reading the Bible, the Holy Bible, scripture. So with that, I will sign off. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for new subscribers. I do pray that you have a good week. And sometime during this week, I'll show you the, my, Nick, my book nook haul. Plus, I got a book coming in the mail this week. That I will show. I got some books I, I've ordered and waiting for to come in the mail. So hope you're all doing well once again. And until next time, bye.